Hi, welcome to 25th Hammer Tutorial. We're going to be making cameras that display images in real time. A few things to note before you make these. Only one camera can be active at a time. You can have infinite amount of cameras, but only the one can be active. Remember that. You can have infinite amount of monitors. doesn't matter. They can all be active all at the same time. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is select no draw and make where your monitor is going to go. Usually just want to make something simple here that is not going to be very hard on the engine to render. So after you've made a block, basically that's all you're going to use is a block, you want to do a search for monitor. And anything with dev underscore a monitor as a tool texture can be used. I'm going to use dev slash dev underscore TV monitor, no noise. This has no effects on it. The other ones have some effects on them. Give her a really good feel of the camera. After we have that made, we want to press Control T and make it a brush, and just name something. I'm going to name mine Monitor. And now, after that's been made, we want to create our camera. Name this point Camera, and we're going to be making two. And I'm going to show you how to toggle between the two because only one can be active at a time, as I said earlier. After you create one, you want to add these three values. FOV stands for field of view and the value of 100. The field of view can be changed, so you can mess with that later. The next thing you want is target name. You just name this cam1. Next, you want angles. And you just want to leave that as value for now. And the easiest way to make these is after you make one, just copy and paste it. Easiest thing in your life. Then, you want to create a player spawn on top of it. This is how we're going to receive our angle of where the camera is going to be looking. Then, you just use the point at feature, point it somewhere. And now, you want to copy the angles that you were just given, delete the player spawn, and paste them into angles. Now, you'll see a white line should be drawn, or won't be. So then you just want to go back to your first camera and give it an angle as well. And make sure your cameras are named two different things, like I forgot to rename that to two. And make sure you spell everything correctly, like I misspelled angles. If something's misspelled, it will not work. And now that angles is spelled correctly, we should receive the correct line from it. There we go. Now we have the yellow line that's telling us where it's looking. So now we need to make the last part of the camera. You want to create another entity. You want to name this an info camera link as its class type. And we're going to put one of these in for each camera that we have. So the first one is going to be named Cam Link 1. And the camera's name is obviously just going to be Cam 1, like we put. An entity whose uses whose material uses RT camera. This is going to be our monitor. So now you just want to copy and paste that. You can just shift copy. And you want to change the ones to a two. So they're correct. And now I have a button here that's set up to toggle between each other starts unlocked when you press it it locks itself when you press E on it when it's locked it unlocks itself so it just keeps going back and forth and you can use that as a toggle switch so the first thing we're going to do is press add on pressed cam link one set camera then add on pressed cam one set on and turn all others off I then a copy paste you can copy and paste it from the sidebar now what set on and turn all those off does, it does exactly what it says. It turns all of the cameras off and turns this one on. Only one could be on at a time, so it's perfect. And now we want to use unlocked use, cam link 2, set camera, and then we want cam 2 to be set on, turn all those off. And that's how you make cameras for Counter-Strike Source or any other source in the game. I'm going to compile this, and you can see how it looks in Counter-Strike. 
So now here we are in Counter-Strike. Turn around, you see that it automatically set a camera on. It sets the first camera that was used on, so that's what it's used. And if you'll notice, yourself is never rendered. So if you want to check to make sure it's actually working, turn on SV Cheats and go to third person. If you see yourself rendered in the camera when you're in third person, that means that the camera's working. And as you can see, I'm actually being drawn in real time as I do everything here. So you can go back to first person now. If you press E on the button, it'll turn the first camera on. If you press it again, it now just switched to the second camera, which we placed right over here. If you notice, you can jump, throw your gun, and you'll see it fall on the camera. I hope this tutorial has helped you guys make cameras for your maps, for security, and jailbreak maps, and all sorts of things. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe.